today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute little green alien with markers. This is an easy beginner drawing lesson for kids of all ages, so let's begin. Okay, let's draw our little green alien. I have a piece of paper here. It's actually a dollar store drawing pad. It's eight and a half by 11 inches wide. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and if you have an old paintbrush that you've never used to paint with, it's really good for dusting off your page. I love using this. We're going to use markers today. I've got three colors. I have a light green, a dark green, and a yellow. And I have my black fine liner marker here for outlining. So what I'm going to do today is draw the alien in pencil, outline with my black fine liner marker, erase my pencil marks, and then add my color. So why don't we start drawing our alien? Now, the first thing we're going to do is draw his head. And it kind of looks like a balloon if you think about it. Watch what I'm doing here. You know, kind of like a balloon, like that. You might hear my dog Jack snoring in the background. <laughs> I can hear him very clearly. And he's got a tiny little body. Let's draw his little body. His head's bigger than his body. Okay. And he's got some antennas on the top of his head. Watch a little curvy line like this. There's one. And we'll put another one on this side. There we go. So now we're going to draw his arms. He's got two sticks for arms, just like this. Tiny little arms. And maybe we can give him three fingers because we don't really know how many fingers an alien has. <laughs> so we'll do the same thing on this side. Two little sticks and three little fingers. And we'll do the same thing for his legs and his feet. Two little sticks. And we'll just give him a foot that looks like that. And we'll do the same thing on this side here. Two little sticks. And a little foot that looks like that. Okay, now why don't we try to draw his eyes. Now this is, you might have to start and stop on this because it took me a while while I was practicing. They're kind of funny looking. Okay, so watch how I'm doing this. I'm going to start at the bottom and they kind of go up on the side like this and they come down to a bit of a point like that. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Kind of come down to a point. Okay, and we'll put in his mouth and his, his details on his eyes later. So now what we're going to do is we're going to outline. Now I'm, I'm going to leave this optional. You don't have to do it. I like to do it, so I outline everything with black. And because I know that I'm going to be erasing my pencil mark, I don't mind if I go outside of the lines a little bit all that pencil is going to be gone. Now I always say this in all of my videos, if you're going to erase your pencil marks, make sure your marker is dry. Because if it's not dry, it's going to smudge everywhere, okay? So you might want to test your markers. Jack, are you okay? He's coughing a lot. My poor Jack, he's got, um, he's sick. He has a tumor in his nose and it makes his, um, it makes his throat and his nose irritated. So he's always trying to clear his throat. Though, so you might hear that, you know, my poor little Jack. And there's nothing we can do about it. We just have to, try to manage it. He's got some 
medication to help him more comfortable, but we can't really, he's really old, he's 17 years old, so he's not gonna do surgery, you know? But we're trying our best. So I just wanted to let you know, you might hear him in the background. All right, so what I'm going to do is just test my marker. I have a little paper towel here, and I'm just pushing down. And if I see any black marker, I don't, so I know that my marker's dry. That's one way you can test it. Or you can test it by taking a scrap piece of paper and just drawing with marker, waiting a bit, and then try to erase, and you'll see how long it takes for your marker to dry. So I'm gonna start erasing my pencil marks, and I'm doing this very lightly. I'm not pressing down too hard with my eraser. Just lightly erasing all those pencil marks. bits off. This is a fun little drawing to do. Okay, let me just brush off the dust and the eraser bits. Did I get all? No, I missed a spot here. Just go over the whole thing. There. Doesn't he look cute so far? <laughs> All right. The first thing I want you to do is take your yellow marker and we're going to draw just tiny little circles inside the top of his eyes, okay? And we'll start with our dark green color. If you don't have dark green, you could use black. And we're going to color inside his eyes, but not on the yellow. So what I usually do is I'll do an outline first. And that shows me where not to put my green. So I'm going to fill in his eyes with my darker green color here. I'm just trying to be really careful because I don't want to get any green into that yellow circle. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, I'll do the same thing with the other eye. How are you guys doing? There we go. Now for the rest of our alien, we're going to color just the light green, the whole thing. The antennas, the arms, the legs, and his body. So why don't we go ahead and start adding color. Now if you wanted to, you could do this with crayons or coloring pencils too. I just think that the marker looks really cool with the, the bright greens, you know? And if you're using marker, be careful. I always put a piece of paper underneath of my page because you see sometimes the marker goes through. And I don't want to ruin the page underneath or if you're doing it directly on your table, you don't want to get marker all over your table. Unless you have a special table you use for drawing. You should see my painting table. <laughs> it's got so many colors on it. Paint splashes everywhere. And I just thought you could probably do this with paints too. You start by using your pencil and drawing your alien. And then you can paint in the colors. Do you like alien movies? 
I love any kind of science fiction or scary type of movie. <laughs> sometimes I probably shouldn't watch them. I watch them sometimes before I go to bed and then I can't sleep. I think the most popular alien movies out there are called Alien. I think there's five of them. They're more for adults. I don't know if kids watch those or not because they're a little scary. But there are a lot of movies with aliens. <laughs> oh, the cutest alien is E.T. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? Did it make you cry at the end? Oh my gosh. I remember it came out, I think it was 1980. It was a really long time ago. I was just starting high school and I went with a friend of mine. We went to the movie theater to watch it. And at the end, I was crying my eyes out when he had to say goodbye. E.T. phone home. <laughs> I can't watch that movie anymore because it makes me cry, but there are some really funny moments in it. But I think my favorite alien is from the Bugs Bunny cartoons. His name is Marvin the Martian. And his whole purpose in life is to try to blow up the earth. But something always happens. Either Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck stops them somehow. <laughs> he never ever gets to blow up the earth. I always outline before I color in. That's just the way I do it. It helps me to see where, where my borders are, you know? I love the look of markers, but I don't like the smell of them, especially these Sharpie, Sharpie markers. They stink. That's the only thing I don't like. How's your alien looking? You like what you're drawing? This is really fun. I remember I took a note one time. I, it, this was another video that I made maybe a month or two ago and I remember saying something like, oh I should do I should do a drawing lesson for an alien and I wrote that down and I I finally did it. <laughs> There, my alien is done here, except for the details, of course. Are you guys doing okay? Okay, I'm gonna add some details now. I think I'm taking my black fine liner. You can use just a regular black marker if you don't have a fine liner. I'm going to give him just a smiley mouth because he's a happy alien. He doesn't want to blow up the earth like Marvin the Martian. <laughs> And he's going to have cheeks. So the way you show cheeks is you put a little semicircle on either side of the mouth, just like that. And we're going to give him some happy eyebrows. Just two eyebrows like that. And that's it, my friends. That's our alien. What do you think? Was that fun? Now remember, my friends, I always tell you this. Take ownership of your work. Sign your work. I want you to be really, really proud of the work of art that you just created. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends, and we'll see you next time on Rain Francis Art for Kids. Thanks for watching. Bye.